Howdy y'all, welcome back. Got a couple new projects today, a couple of, uh, re, uh, not reviews, but uh, I'm going to go over a couple things that I did to a couple of trucks last week. Um, start off with, what are you going to start with? Let's start with this one. This is my green light Dodge Ram 2500. Um, we jacked it up, put my favorite M2 tires on it, kept the original rims that were on the truck. Left the snow plow. I figured the new owner can take that out if they want it. We're just going to list it like it is. Um, put the put a new back rack in there. One of the new ones that I got. Uh, put in my new auxiliary fuel tank. Got the exhaust on there. Flip it over a little bit. Got a new exhaust tip on there. I put a new uh, tow hitch on there because this truck didn't come with a tow hitch. Uh, but other than that, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, so what I also did is after I got that done, I decided I liked that one so well that I wanted to do one of my Ertles. So we went ahead and did one of those. And I left this one out to show you the difference between the two. Um, first of all, look at that front wheel, the way they put that on there. They could have trimmed that back just a little bit. I thought maybe they had it on backwards, but if you flip around backwards, it's the same on one side as it is the other. So it's kind of a crappy wheel and tire design. Anyway, I took the Ertl Dodge Ram 3500. Um, I did not jack this one up because it had plenty of tire clearance on it when I put the wheels on there. Um, got the diesel exhaust tip on there. Uh, put a green light tow hitch on the back of it. Um, if you've seen these Ertl trucks before you see all of them have these big fifth wheel holes in the back so I took one of these spare ones I had from green light and I stuck it in there just to kind of cover the hole and I think it looks a little better um, used one of my new not new but uh, recently acquired 802 customs back window rack I had to trim it down a little bit because they're a little bit wide for these dodges and then I put in one of my new auxiliary fuel tanks in there Painted the inside of the bed, uh, painted the mirrors. Uh, I was going to paint the fender lights, but I never did get around to doing that. But other than that, I think we turned it from a mediocre truck into a way better. So again, this is what we started with, kind of plain Jane. And that was the, one of the biggest things that had to go, is that tow hitch that Ertl puts on there. That thing is ridiculously large. And I think we made a very big improvement by what we put on there so I think it looks a lot better wheels and tires protrude past fenders a little bit I think it looks pretty good so that's a finished truck and I'm going to probably list that this afternoon along with the 2500 a um, couple of other projects that I worked on if you saw my last video you saw I bought these patina trucks uh, I have since changed the chassis on them, and I put a chassis on there with a normal ride height. Uh, these wheels and tires are probably not going to stay on there. That's just what I had for now. The wheels and tires were on that. I just basically swapped the chassis with this black and silver one. And I think it actually doesn't look too bad on there. So I may glue this together and put this on, list this on eBay and see how it goes. With that color scheme and those wheels and tires, that don't look that bad. Not my style, but I bet somebody would like it. Um, they make, Auto World makes three different chassis. They make the low rider chassis, which is on this truck. Then they make the regular ride height chassis, which was originally on this truck. And then they have the 4x4 chassis, which I don't have one of those out right now. This is my other, my Brazilian truck that I got. I also did the same thing. I just swapped the chassis out on it so it could have some higher wheels and tires on it so that it looks more of a ride height truck than lowered <laughs> so um of the, the other thing i forgot to mention to you these uh ertl rims and tires these are very difficult to work with so instead of working with those i just scrapped them and since i had just bought this new 2018 3500 tow truck those are the rims that went on to this Ertl truck. Uh, so that was the other thing I swapped out on them. Still working on my 
Ford 94 Ford Dually. Um, I didn't hit a roadblock. I just I need to get some JB Weld because uh, there's a little bit of a gap here between the fender and the truck on both sides. A little bit of gap, you know, all the way around the fender that I need to fill in with some JB Weld, and then that truck should be ready to get started with. Uh, this other truck project that I'm working on, my crew cab Chevy. Um, I've hit a, not really a snag on this one. I decided that I just used the wrong truck to start with. Um, I decided I was going to use an M2 because that's what I have the most of. And then after I thought about it, um, I realized that um, you guys know as well as I do, the engine detail in the M2s are just so much better. Uh, the beds of the M, or I'm sorry, the Auto World um, engine detail is so much better. And then you can tell the top one is an M2, the bottom one is an Auto World. The beds are just so much nicer on the Auto Worlds, plus the bonuses, the tailgates open. So that's a bonus of using the Auto World over the M2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrap this original idea and I'm going to start over. And this time I'm going to use the Auto World to build this truck. So this project's going to be delayed a little bit longer. Uh, also, when I was out and about today, I was in a drugstore and I ran across these Hot Wheels dumpster trucks. Um, I don't like the Hot Wheels trucks that much because they're basically, they're just way too small. But the bonus is, is for $1.25 a piece, it comes with two dumpsters, which is basically what I wanted. So for $2.50, I just bought two dumpsters for my future diorama when I ever get that started. So I guess that's all I got for you today, guys. I thought that was going to take a little longer. Oh, yeah, one other thing I did. If you watched my video last week, this uh, new Super 10 Chevy had a blue windshield in it. I've already swapped that out and put a clear window in it. So I think it already look, makes it look 100% better. So that's what else I did. That's all I got for you today, guys. Y'all have a good day. And check back next week. I'll have more. Bye.